Turning now to the pandemic and a growing shortage of nurses across the state. Health experts now coming together, though, with a plan to try to solve this problem as COVID cases are once again on the rise. Local 10's Ian Margul is live in Miami with what that plan is. Ian. Christy, this nursing shortage is getting to a critical point and it's only supposed to get worse. So today, a nursing advisory council was announced with a lot of people here in South Florida that will be working on it. And their idea is to try to find some ways to fill the gap. Because when you look at the shortage that is coming down by 2035, where you're supposed to be short of 60,000 nurses, that's a crisis. Startling numbers showing just how critical the nursing shortage is becoming in Florida and across the country. Vacancy rates for nursing is double to triple what it was pre-pandemic, um, and that's pretty consistent on a national level. The Florida Hospital Association says more than a third of nurses intend to leave the profession by the end of 2022, and 70% of hospitals can expect a major staffing shortage. And I look forward to showing you our new ER. Broward Health hoped to fill hundreds of slots at a job fair this week, but the room was mostly empty while we were there. If you don't have someone to take care of you, nothing matters. In an effort to find a solution, representatives from Kaiser University, Mount Sinai Medical Center, state lawmakers, and several others announced the creation of the Kaiser Nursing Advisory Council. The group's goal is to put a spotlight on the issues that are causing the staffing shortage and suggest solutions to fix them. Things like workforce housing, things like tuition assistance. We hope to accomplish coming up with at least three to four recommendations that are practical in nature that can be implemented that can address head on different issues and challenges that will help alleviate the nursing shortage. And just to give you an idea of how bad this is and how quickly it's going to get out of hand by 2025. So just about three years from now, it's expected that there's going to be a shortage of 130,000 nurses. Live in Miami, I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News.